Hello folks and welcome back to Bally Spring. Here we are, we've been pretty busy I think we have noticed on the top right corner. Money's gone up a little bit, so as we're filling up with TMR, we'll include some clips of us doing some contracts and then we'll have a discussion of what everything that's happened. So, as you can see, we've done a fair share of contract work. I might up from the last clip, that's because initially we did buy a piece of equipment. I thought, you know what, that could actually work out for us. So, it's under animals. I thought it was going to be like one of these forest mixers, the lizard saddy. But actually, no, but hey, it doesn't do anything it's like a forest mixer. You can't cut bells with it, or at least the slice bells we've got, so I've tried that. All it does is just collects goods and that from the ground, so I think we will buy that again at some point, because I didn't realise our manure pit was overfilled, because an issue was like 74,000 litres, and I was like there for a while, I thought, why is it stop all Sunday? So when I bought that, transferred all over, pulled the manure into the silo, and then I was getting like 5,000 litres of manure per hour, like, wow. So I think I'll buy that again because we can get a lot of manure from that. So yeah, that is these cows filled down here. I'm going to need more straw at some point, dang it. But obviously we could always buy... Worst case scenario, we can always buy in showing that. A couple of bells out there and still pick up at some point. Also, I've gone and bought the sort of unrealistic 200,000 year TARDIS uh, Bowser. Just because I love to right now, because we have so much surrey in the pits. 5,000 years at a time. What took us forever to do. That's why I decided to buy that. And I may temporary borrow. Every time I come over here I always hit a bump or something. But yeah, as I was saying, the TARDIS trader, that is based, based off the class trader. That here. You can use that for things like silage. Because we go to not there. It's prices, yeah, like how we barley and all that good stuff. Aussie oops, we're going to sell. Actually, can almost sell our oats now. I think we wait a little bit longer. Get the absolute peak price. But things like wood chips, we need to sell. Currently, we're at 1300 per thousand litres. Silage got 2.3 million. Uh, currently, 578 we can't get out of the BGA. But I think a couple more months and then we may get a slight better price. But anyways, I did initially try to record some content, but for some reason I've had a catastrophic corruption. Uh, basically all it was was mainly students' sites, or the grass work and that. 
getting all mowed and wind road and all that. And as you can see here it's all nice. And actually it's how so those cows filled up. Now we're gonna take another load, but we'll deal with that later on. Now what we're gonna do is just fill this up and leave it. I'm gonna leave times on point five just because we've got a lot of work to do. I think the first thing we've got to do is we got produce to sell. I was eating the time lapse, I think I showed we sold some of our fruits and vegetables. And where's our pickup to? Ah, it's there. For some reason I thought it was over somewhere else but yeah we've got all of our oil to sell and we've got these pads to sell as well so let's quickly get over there a sec and have a little look how much stuff we've got and there we go so I think if we say go this way I think I'll do love this little pick up but I think because of the tracks and that, we are getting some issues with steering control. And so I think there's going to be multiple though. So we've got this is corn oil. We've got one, two, three, four, five, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty thousand litres of corn oil. And we've got one, two, three, four, eight, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, two, four, six, eight, thirty thousand litres of soybean oil. And that's what gets us a lot of money. Also, we still have ten thousand litres of corn in there. That's because I done something a bit cheeky. 157 came up as a contract. I thought, you know what, heck it, let's do that contract. But unfortunately, the sell point was at, oh, uh, like, by three mark or something. But I thought, you know what, let's sort of steal that corn oil, or sort of steal that corn to get corn oil. We paid the penalty off the crop and that, which was like £10,000. We're going to make that money back in corn oil, so I thought, heck it. Let's go steal some oil, or steal some crop to get oil. I want to see how good of a job can we do getting this all loaded up. Little bits here and there I can manage. Just about 
get 8,000 liters. Uh, this is going to be painful. Wish we had a little bit trailer, but then again, we maybe have to navigate around the map. No! Fudge. No, get back on you. That's how you can escape. If I say this is going to be two or three trips at least, I thought, oh, try to be clever. Clever ain't going to work here, I didn't think, boy. Let's get on. There we go. Hammer shot that other bunch down, so I've got to be careful there. Come on, push. There we go, unstrap. Not fall off. I mean, is he even gonna cope? That's gonna be one heavy trader, so I think what I do now is just do a time lapse of getting this all done, get us onto the trader, get it all sold, and I'll see you folks in a few moments. Hey kid. Never let them get inside your head They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you could get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test if only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down they want to rise up while you drown They want to fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless And there we go with the final load of oil we're going to sell. So that side we made just over 240 grand or so. And how much will we get now? That is a lot of oil. So actually with that, what we can do is go and pay off the loan. Or do we? Maybe think about getting new land in that as well, so... Yeah, think about it, these grass fields and that. Because I do want to put crop in here as well. Is that growing already? Is that crop in a growing or... Yeah, it's growing, and what is that, barley? That's barley. Could do with another barley field, could we? Ugh. T -t -t Try to think. Nah, I won't. We'll get some fields in, so. Frigate. Let's go with. Buy that field there. Is that wheat already growing as well? Yes it is, so I do want to have 
a lot of these we can just plow up and actually let's buy a forestry get a ton of wood chips yeah get a forestry area over there yeah we can do that can't we and then yeah we'll obviously repay off to the loan in that also thinking it's time to do need to buy that tray at some point but I'm thinking if we go and buy oh what's it the lizard saddy again send the capacity sure 50,000 litres Thinking, let's go with yellow. There we go, that's red, that's red. Yeah, something like that. on that. So that'd be helpful with the door. Also, you're gonna need the this one here. Where is it to? There we go. We're just gonna borrow that. just so we can sell all of our produce over the coming months yeah sure why not good to have an, ac an actual spout to you so that's that done there but no I think actually we should start doing the bathing because also I did start cutting the hedgerows out on this field because I'm thinking we can just plow this all up and make one massive grass field but obviously can we even plant grass now was that in the next year we can plant it now, but realistically, we'll be planting in March, then May, July. Yeah, actually, that works out well for us. So, if we can just do the field prep work over winter, get rid of these hedges, get rid of some of these trees, and then, yeah, I think he's absolutely golden for that. Obviously, I think we're going to have an issue again where we hit the limit for bells. The yieldage was a bit down, like rather than 125% yieldage, we got 115. Not sure what we f forgot. In terms of the beta now, we could go with a sort of like selectable bell capacity mod and get bells that way. But then again, uh, no. I think I'll try to avoid unrealistic equipment as much as I can on this series. It's just for things like transporting, like the amount of wood chips and slides and that, we'll use it. But you know what? We'll stick with this for now. Actually, fair enough. With 260 grand, as we do. Well, of course, I'm sure there's productions we can do, but anything of use to us so I'm thinking obviously yeah what well, doing potatoes so we need to find an area to place like some of these buildings down actually they're not too big actually all things considering 
got some options there for us to do. And if worst case scenario we hit the bell limit, we can always just forge it, get a forge wagon in, and then the rest could be just like silage clamp silage. So yeah, we got a lot of work to do here, a lot of fuel to do, and the best way to do it is via a time lapse. So yeah, I'll get most of this done, and I'll see you folks in the morning. And there we go, some time later. We've hit the bell limit, so we had to borrow a forage wagon and forage all of the grass. Also, we've gone and purchased another field. We purchased one, two, three, so we've got that mode and that mode. We did spend 20 grand on the mower, the self propelled mower, because I thought, you know what, would be quicker for us. That's just the thing, when we sell the wood chips now and other things over the winter, get us off a pump mower. Get more products from the greenhouses looking good. Also, really, do we need to do keep these? No, we don't, so we'll get rid of those. We still need the uh, sun grinder because there's some sun still need to be grinded. And also. There's going to be some trees cut down, I'm sure there's some that need to be grinded. So yeah, got a decent sized pit, not sure how much we've got in there at the moment. But, anywho. 
also thinking about the amount of milk we're producing from the cows. Let's get the dairy production underway. Sure, why not? I can't see a reason not to. Is this a dairy farm after all? So it makes sense for us to diversify our work now and our income. Yeah, let's go and get all this in. There we go. Yeah, and there you. Ah, see. Now I'll return you. Only half an hour spent working on that. Not too shabby. Because actually, I did go and collect some milk with our new tanker. Currently got 75, about, no, 73,000 litres. Well, that says 75. Whoopsie. That's going in. But yeah, let's look at the manure sec to illustrate what I'm on about. Like, I suppose that's 70,000 litres for a while. Now, per hour, we're getting about 5,000 litres of manure, so that's sadly well overdue. And I should have cleared that sooner, but. So, yeah, now we've got 75,000 litres of delicious milk. House of Surrey. 35,000 litres, because we did just clear that. And how much have we got? 355,000 litres. And this is going to take us a while, so... What I'm going to do... Okay, what the 2.3 ton weight there, which is by the manure heap. However, I am... Got the money. Big old tractor to... Crush everything. Well, that's base game. No, don't that. What about something like this? An ATAR? 14 tons. Uh, only 1800 kilogram from weight. New what? Please say I've got the correct way I want. Yes we have. So, you know what? Standard. Sure. No shadows. Sure. Whatever. And let's go with a John Deere green. That could be a John Deere yellow. That could also be a John Deere yellow. There we go. So let's go and get those hooked up a sec. There we go, got the weight, seven tons of it. And with the bells, we didn't hit the four two hundred, we hit one nine five for some reason. So I'm guessing somewhere there's five bells that I forgot to pick up from the contract or something. That's gotta be the only explanation. What heck it power there we go. Ooh, over. Over we go. And yeah, really just got his fervor back. That's my bad on that. And that's a major oversight on my part. Now we've got seven tons of weight. It's going to help us compact all of this. At the moment, I'm just focusing on this girt massive heap. Come on, wiggle yourself out. There we go. And we're slowly getting there. Actually, once we start getting this down, it'll be a lot easier to work. It's just. Bit by bit, go back and forwards. I think we're also in the perfect area here. So again, getting this all compacted. So yeah, let's do a quick time lapse, get this all compacted. And then we'll see if we do anything afterwards.
There we go, with that little work into the night in the early morning. We've gone inside to buy some very super cheap straw. Because, well, we've run out of straw. So, how's our milk at the moment? 91,000 litres. 71% fermented, so that should be done in a few hours. So that'll be ready. All to sell in January when it's at its absolute peak. Because, yeah, I've had a look around. Wood chips, January or February. Signage, January or February. Wood chips, January. Oh no, that's grass. No, we don't need to sell grass. Yeah, signage is January. What else? Ooh, do, 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 do. Things like butter and cheese, perhaps? If we can get the dairy going. Get a pallet or two before the end of the winter. And yeah, I know the typical best prices for these are around January time. But yeah, apart from that, I'm not too worried. Manure and Surrey. Pretty much manure is at its peak. Surrey, it's a little bit of waste. Go, but not in fairness, not much. Maybe a couple more quids, but yeah, I've got so much to do. So that is the straw field. Looking good. And yeah, worst case scenario, we'll buy more cheap straw. I think we can get some more cheap ones in form of bells. Not as cheap as we got this hundred thousand leaves for, but. You want to just put that in there. Still should be enough for us and we skip until the afternoon. We should see that going back up again. Seeing that we're already using daylight, so but very we don't have much work to do. Great demand at sell everything. Actually, let's have a look at that a sec. So yeah, back at 1800 years of milk. And you're 47,000 litres. But what is its peak price at the moment? I guarantee it's something we don't have. All water there's our oats to sell as well. sell those. But what's his at its peak price at the moment? Well, it's none of these. Oh, it's going to be something like miscellaneous, ain't it? Got so many productions installed, I think. What? Whoa, 20 grand for a croquettes? Sign me up, baby. Oh, we'll get those in. But yeah, maximum price. Can't see anything, so who knows. Must be in that very quick lip in that, so... Anything in the use market for us? Yeah... Oh, seeing that. Corn header. You know what? Heck yeah, we'll buy that. Because we're going to be doing corn in that next year, so... Sign me up, baby, on that. Yeah, these bells aren't yet fermented. I think they're around like 80% now. Unfold. And actually, we're just going to just devour the like, manure. Like, I so miss this. You know, like on Farms in 19, we used to have these just going around like that. Actually, inside the cow pens. Get the manure now, but uh, well, they were the days. But anyway, that so is where we're going to leave it today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But first, to do, hope you have a nice day. 
But for now, it's me farmer at Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.